How's it going, everybody? Um, whatever should happen across this, I hope it meets you well. Um, it's a nice uh, Saturday afternoon, and I'm uh, tasting uh, <clears throat> Dunhill uh, London mixture. It's the first bowl of it I've tried, and uh, so. Virginia and Oriental um, mix, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> I guess they. Uh, I guess you classify Latakia as a uh, Oriental. I'm not sure, but there's some. It's a lot. It's Virginia Latakia, pretty much. But it's not. There's not much sweetness to it. It's not coming out for me today, and now, at least. Um, it's nice. It's got a nice mouth feel to it. The smoke. Taste that. A lot of Kia. Uh, I don't get much of the Virginia sweetness in it, but I guess it's there. Packs well, lights well, and um, actually I, I lit this a while ago, I, I set it down for a bit, I do a couple things, and coming back to it now, and this is a, so this is a, a Marksman uh, 400 pipe that I picked up on eBay, uh, I guess about a month or so ago, and uh, it's huge, beautiful pipe. The four, solid 14 karat gold uh, little band there, and uh, you know, saddle bit, giant bowl, nice uh, little rustication, and then some smooth as well. Smokes great. It's an old pipe. Um, I believe it's from the 40s. I, I think this company went out of business in the, in the 50s, maybe, or something like that. So this is an old pipe, and this is their, this is the top of the line they made, um, so I've read. Um, and uh, I read that uh, in the 1940s, that this pipe, all well, this 400 series from Marksman, was very expensive. It was uh, $25 a pipe. And at that time, Dunhills were $10. So for this one, one could have got two and a half Shell Briars in the 1940s. They uh, supposedly used very old, 100 year old or plus uh, briar. And for every pipe they sold, it says, according to the wiki I read, entry, Pipedia, I think, that uh, they, uh, they kept the ledger of the people who bought the pipe, and they put your name in there with a serial number. I don't know what the number on this particular one is. Um, can't see it in this light, but uh, I thought that was that was pretty interesting. Um, I tried searching around to see if maybe that ledger was out there somewhere. I'd be interested to see who originally purchased this uh, this particular pipe, but um, couldn't find anything. Opened up the draft a little bit, um, washed it out, uh, did a little uh, um, work on the on the, uh, on the on the stem mouthpiece. There was some oxidation. It's a vulcanite, all vulcanite uh, stem, so there was some oxidation on it, and it needed uh, some. I did a little oxy clean on it, and uh, a little barkeeper's friend 
couple of weeks ago. Uh, salt and alcohol. I mean, the cake in this thing, when I first got it, was out of control. I don't think it had been cleaned in 50 plus years. And there was crazy cake in there. And I mean, like, it wasn't like, you know, like, uh, pretty. you could get your, you know, it wasn't like you see somewhere you can't even get your finger in. But it was like kind of crusted really hard and thick on, on, on like one side of it somehow. I don't know what it was, but it cleaned it out with a you know, knife and, uh, salted it, alcohol came in, and then uh, let it dry out after that, then did a, you know, um, another, you know, alcohol cleaning inside with uh, at, at a Everclear, let that dry out, came back to it, opened the hole up to um, the draft to 5.30 seconds, and uh, it's been great ever since. Only thing uh, I couldn't really get is some of this. Uh, the rim was way worse when I first got it. It was all black. So I did a little bit. Of, I read, I read, uh, or saw some videos you know, that um, saliva. You know, you do a little spit shine on there, and you can get it up. And I got, I got a lot of it up, but there's still some rim darkening here. I have to work on. Got a, um, <coughs> I got a, uh, a wheel that I haven't opened yet. Uh, half horsepower, six inch uh, <coughs> wheel. And some, uh, I'm gonna get some. I got some carnauba wax. I'm gonna put on there and uh, really shine it up. This, uh, this is just uh, some Paragon or Halcyon two. I forget which one I, I used on this one to uh, get the luster up a little bit. You can see this. Oh, it's a sitter too. Came out pretty good so far. But I'm gonna touch it up with the wheel when I get to uh, get some time to set that up and play and figure out how to do it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm such a big fan of this London mixture though. It's a, little, it's a little missing something for me. I have to come back to it, I guess. Try maybe try try it again. At some other point, let it dry out a little bit more. They just popped the tin and put it in. This week I also tried. I've been in a Dunhill little kick lately. Tried uh, nine six five earlier in the week. Not so. Didn't really work out so well. The pack didn't work out, and I didn't have a lot of time to play with it. So I wound up, wound up only smoking half that, and then just moving on. I have to get back to that. That has a little bit of a Cavendish in it. Uh, my favorites so far for Dunhill been um, I like Royal Yacht a lot. Like. Um, Early morning a lot. Uh, nightcap not so much. It's okay. I have to get back to it again. It's nine. Uh, the nine six five. I have to get back to it again. Didn't hit me right off the top. And this London mixture didn't hit me right off the top either. So I have to work on this a little bit more. See if I if I can come around to it. Well, found a little. Back in his shop near my office, they have a little lounge and uh, pipes and um, tobacco. And uh, I was able to uh, pick up uh, the new um, Balkan Sobrani mix, which uh, is usually sold out on pipes and cigars. I've been interested in checking that out. Pipes and cigars or smoking pipes, it's always sold out. So. I saw it there and I picked it up. Tried that. That was pretty decent. I like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's coming around a little bit. It's 
little bit smoky. Not that bad. Not that not much. I don't know what exactly what it's got. I don't know if my palate's off today or something, but I'm not picking up a whole lot of flavor. Get a little bit on the retro hail. But um oh. Dude, it got long. Ten minutes already. All right, I'm going to cut this off, and uh, hope everybody has a good weekend. And uh, see you later.